So let's yeah. start with what is happening in the convention center this season. All right, Abdullah, thanks uh, for having me again. But, you know, this is uh, has been uh, probably the most exciting time for us uh, to start again a full season with uh, less hurdles that were then comparing to the COVID time, you know. Mm. Uh, tourism, exhibition, tourism industry have uh, had a difficult time throughout COVID being one of those sectors that have gathers a lot of people for events and travels and everything. So uh, the upcoming season now until end of the year, we actually have a lot of events happening at OCC. And that includes around 20 different exhibitions and overall 50 different events that's happening in different areas. And yeah. that include exhibition, live events, uh, corporate events. And and I'll probably highlight some of the most important uh, one that is coming on the pipeline. Sure. Uh, as tomorrow we will have the tourism symposium which is starting 27 and 28 of September uh, and that's the first of a kind uh, symposium focused mainly in adventure tourism given that Oman has the, the geogra geography and the, the place and location the, the right atmosphere the right des like uh, topography in terms of places to visit and, and we get a lot of visitors coming from all over the world just to uh, come to Oman to experience and enjoy those type of sport uh, yeah. and adventure tourism. So the focus in the next two days will be on that and there'll be more uh, details to share on on that. Uh, and and that is that work is a collaboration between Ministry of Heritage and Tourism, Oman Group, uh, Visit Oman as a platform and OCC uh, and one part. In next month, we have other uh, more other events. We have a maritime exhibitions, which is also first first of a kind focusing on the maritime uh, and also uh, the services around maritime, so given uh, boats, uh, services, uh, fishery or other uh, related uh, industry around that area. We've got a lot of interest from not just locally, but also international exhibitors to come in mm. and be part of this first edition. In November, you know, given November is one of our, you know, beloved month and we like to do a lot of stuff in November for oh. the National Day and, and also this year. There is a big thing happening this year in November. Because World Cup doesn't happen in the region so easy. <laughs> so we are really going to be preparing something that is very interesting and very exciting. The more details will be coming out uh, about uh, the football fast or the football village that we are working on uh, along the side with other uh, players. We've including. been hearing about the football village for quite some time, but I don't know if any people know what exactly is happening there. How much are you capable of saying at this particular time? Not so much because there is a, a bigger plans and a more details that will be shared. There's a plan to very soon to actually um, share more details with the, with the, with the, with the public mm. in I think this week or next week, but very soon. What I can say that is happening at uh, OCC, we will do it at the at the garden in front of OCC. That's a 9,000 square meter of uh, space. Wow. Uh, there is uh, a, a, a bigger team who's organizing all of this, a lot of stuff that we expect to happen. Uh, and, and soon people will know more about it and then they can take part as well. Uh, there's more other activities, sub activities that comes with, the, with, the, with this uh, festival festival football festival city mm. uh, and that's also will be announced very soon are we expecting this to be one of the most attended events in OCEC I mean you're in the planning committee obviously the CEO so I'm guessing you have to anticipate how many people are going to show up to such a thing we, yeah a lot of people we expect a lot of people to come not just locally but also internationally as mm. you know Oman is one of the satellite mascot the satellite city for the World Cup so there is actually a lot of planes and and Oman Air has given a, a, an amazing promotions for people who wants to attend the games on the same day and return back again. And that's more details of that in Oman Air website. Uh, so we've been as a satellite city, so we expect people to come here, book their hotels, right. stay in Oman, travel to Doha, watch the games, come back again. And probably some of these days they want to just to chill, do something more locally, visit uh, some of the sightseeing, but also come and watch the games in a festival ground, like where we, what we're building. Yeah. So we expect a good number of people. I mean, uh, we have other events that's actually quite big, you know, uh, compared like the book fair, for example, that's everybody love the book fair and book fair is uh, one of the biggest event, not just in Oman, it's also in the region. Sure, yeah. Our book fair is, is quite big. 
And, but this one is expected to attract a lot of crowd and it's a different type of crowd. This time mm. it's more into sport, more into celebration. Much more energy than the book crowd. <laughs> Much more energy, <laughs> different type of energy, let's say, yeah. and exciting people. So yeah. you, you can imagine the type of events or the activities we're planning is to meet that hype, mm. to meet those type of people as well. So there's more details going to come to cover that. In November also we have Masqat Art, which is... Uh, the second version of uh, Oman art, which we launched three years ago, but we stopped because of the COVID. And that will attract a lot of art galleries, uh, artists from all over the world, uh, including a lot of Omani artists, to be together in one platform to showcase their their art piece of uh, work and also try to connect and then also try to bring in uh, other people who So is it like a combination of different exhibitions? Yeah, so that is happening also in November. Hmm. And we also have, we're hosting the... Uh, the UFI, which is actually an association, it's a congress related to all the exhibitor and organizers around the world. So this is like the organizer themselves, uh, the operators of different venues and also interest people and investors who's going to come to Oman. Uh, this event happened at least, uh, it takes between 10 to 15 years until it hosts back in the Middle East. So we are the second time. Uh, Wait, what is it exactly? It's a congress for exhibitor. Uh, venues, which is like OCEC venue, I see, and event organizers uh, and investors in the sector of uh, investment. So, and, and in, in the sector of mice industry, which is you know the meeting and incentive conferences and exhibition. So they're coming to Oman. Those people are gonna come. Those high profile people mm. expected to be here in November, uh, and then this is the annual congress that's gonna come. Oman will host it. OCEC under OCC, but to also to showcase the country and show our ab uh, availability of what the infrastructure we have here mm. to host such a big event. So there's around 650 people who's also going to be here one week before the World Cup, uh, actually. Wow. And uh, December, we have also our uh, annual uh, MyJack, which is actually the jewelry show that we have. And it's been going on for the last uh, 11 years, except we stopped during COVID. Mm. But that's also expected to come back again in December. The, everything I mentioned is actually what is organized directly by OCC, but there's many other events organized right. by third parties. You'll find more uh, details of these in our website, www.ocec.om. And you will be able to see, book yourself uh, a place to come or add it to your calendar. It's uh, And there's more details about uh, those events. So you have a lot happening. Just uh, in this week alone, I think you have, what, four or five different events happening back to back. Yes. Today there is two. Today we just, <laughs> there was two or one related to the medical, another one related to food and hospitality. Yeah. And also we have one with the... Uh, related to environment as well it was all launched today and mm. and we expect them to be in the center for the next uh, few days yeah what constitutes a season it's uh, from when till when uh, season normally starts in september and ends right before christmas so that's the mid of december mid and of then december. you you have people going back they going in leaves during december until first week of january they come back again and then you have a second season or, or the first season starts from january all the way to April mm -hmm. and then summertime is more of a quieter time and that's where we normally utilize that for operation purposes send people on leaves uh, uh, review the performance look at uh, and look at event that we'd like to explore so that could be more of smaller event SME event workshops and, yeah, and which then, explains why True Story Tent happened in OCC during summer because it was a quieter, uh, quieter time. And we have a nice AC which, at OCC. Oh my God, it was cooler beautiful. You don't understand. Can I just say, I, I want to take this opportunity and say, when I saw True Story Tent's posters all plastered all over OCEC, that was a moment for me. <laughs> I didn't think this would ever happen. But I'm really grateful that you guys gave me the opportunity to do that. And above that as well, you joined and you shared. That was fantastic. It was a pleasure because I think OCC is designed to host all type of events, mm. designed to create memories for those events, designed to be part of the society as well. And not only just to attract, I mean, it's, it's important for us to attract all type of international event as well. But local event is very important for us. So yeah. we we understand that the, they start small, but they can grow to become something big. Yeah. And the level of impact that they can play, like your show, you know, the True Story, Story Tent is actually being broadcast a couple of times for around the people and the inspiration that you play 
for the people who listen to those stories. It's amazing. So, so here's a tip for all you aspiring event organizers who have cool concepts. Because from my understanding is in the summer you explore unconventional different types of concepts. Yeah. You have a chance during summer. Maybe you're gonna get an overflood of emails. I'm sorry. I mean, to whoever your team is. <laughs> but, I, but I would say exactly what you said. You know, you say it has to be unique, something yeah. that is different, something that requires to be explored. You know, we can we can look into it and see how can we help. Summertime is uh, easier for us to review, help, mm. and then maybe we'll provide even a support on the ground. That would be easier to do. Well, that's fantastic. So how about we go up on a quick break? Sure. But before we leave, is there anything you want to add to what's happening in this coming season? I would like to say I would invite everyone to come to uh, OCC, check our calendar, uh, take part of these events. They're very exciting events happening in Muscat uh, and it's happening at OCC. Support the local SMEs. Uh, make sure you're uh, also buy things from them, ask them questions, interact with the local industry. I think there's a lot we can offer, but we need to work on it together. And again, the website is www.ocec.om.